Hey, Oki Spies out there. My name is Spies123, and today we're doing the first video of the week at school. And we are going to be talking about invertebrates. I want James Plays to be in this video, but he got sick, so he can't. Hopefully, he can be in some other ones, but yeah, let's get right into it. Mollusks. We're going to be talking about mollusks now. Mollusks are shelled invertebrates. This, um, this includes snails, squids, octopi, clams, and other shellfish. Uh, not like crabs and lobsters and crust any crustacean. Those are not shellfish. Um, when I found out that squids were actually related to like snails, I was like, "What?" And but then I started thinking about it. And uh, lots of ancient squids actually had like snail shells, and I thought that was pretty interesting. But also, snails also have tentacles. I bet you didn't know that, but the um, you know the you know the, like the big stalks that their eyes are on top of those. Those are the tentacles. Um. Yeah. Now we're going to be talking about worms. Worms have snake-like bodies. That's really all you can say to describe them. I mean, there's different colors, but a bunch of different worms have different colors. So there's like black worms, there's like brown worms, there's pink worms, there's white worms, there's even green worm, green worms and red worms. But most of the, there's tons of different kinds of worms. Worms are also some of the first animals on this earth. So therefore, almost every single other animal evolved from a worm. That's pretty cool. You gotta admit, that's cool. But, um... You probably... The the worm you most likely find, like, the worm you probably find more than any other is a earthworm. But there are also flatworms and velvet worms. Speaking of velvet worms, I think they are the link between um, insects and worms, or arthropods and worms. Because non insect takes the body count first, but never mind. Because velvet worms have soft, unlike arthropods, velvet worms have soft bodies and no eyes like a worm. But like arthropods, they have legs and they have antenna, which is weird for a worm because that's like the only worm that actually has that. Um. So, yeah, we're not talking about worms anymore, by the way, but. That's it. That's 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 not a very long video. Most of the videos are gonna be like that, but like, I think I might try to like I'm gonna catch a worm or a snail or something. Actually, I already have a snail. But I'm gonna go catch some more, just to put into this cage. I cleaned up the cage. I that cage I was empty it was kind of just full of dirt. I cleaned it up, so it has a pond. It's like grassy area. It has a little uh, like a foresty area. And I'm going to be, for each episode, I'm going to try to collect the, the, um, invertebrates I was talking about. I'm going to put them in here. And, we, and then the next episode, I'm going to show you guys. But, um, yeah. That's the end of the video. Bye, all you spies. See you in the next video. Oh, you got, you caught me guys watching Markiplier, but, yeah, this is another clip. Um... So I'm going to just show you something real quick. I keep a book all about bugs so I can know like what to catch and what they are and stuff. I'm just going to show you that real quick because it might come. I might show it off some other time. You might not have seen this before, but it's a little book that I have called Bugs. But, yeah, just look. I'm just going to look there. I put, like, stickers all on all the bugs I want to catch, but these are all the different kinds of bugs. These are what I'm going to be talking about. There's arachnids, uh, myropods, crustaceans. Can you see that? Focus. Crustaceans, um, non insect texapods, insects, and then there's two different kinds of insects. Um, focus. Okay. Yeah, you can read that, but these are just. Yeah, okay, well, I'm just going to be flipping through here, just th showing you all the, um, bugs I want to catch. This video wasn't that long, so I just want to make it a little bit longer, so that you guys have more to watch. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go through here, focus.
Okay, there's there's a lot to go through, but can do that. I'm looking at the camera, so like my hand. I'm just watching my hand do that. It doesn't feel like it's my hand because it's like a little slow. But look at that grasshopper. He lives in Africa though. But I yeah, I don't think I should just shelf that book for any as long as I put it back up. There. Okay. Well see you guys in the next